Hello friends, I'm Larry with Rides Done Right, and this is Journey to Track Days. Have a Yeah, yeah. This car was already built by Strictly Street Rods. He got wiped out in the four weeks. <laughs> Guy in there, but if he's not driving with the rest of the crew, he's the guy. He drives the truck, drives the car, he drives the plane. Do you get paid three times? No. <laughs> <laughs> this show, top five in America. The one thing that uh, we had to focus on here being rides done right and going to the track was making sure we had cameras set up uh, as good as we could as good as we could now what we did is we uh, uh, on the bike we got I got a, a bracket uh, made for the CBR 954 so it actually mounts on uh, I had the GoPro sitting off to one side for stability I would have had 360 flies on everything but uh, hopefully we'll get to that point where I can get full 360 fly on everything but did use the GoPro as the main uh, point of view, and then that 360 was amazing. That's where I got the best looking shots. Uh, wait till you see that video, it's, it's really pretty cool. I'll have shots where not only will it be a 360s that I'll put up on their own so you can kind of look around as you want yourself, but uh, I was able to then, for people that don't have a 360, I used the uh, uh, overlays uh, on screens where I have one one of the screens in, in the track video where I have like six camera views uh, all at the same time they're all synced up really cool so it, if you have a big screen or you know you put it on your TV or on your desktop it looks really neat you can really see the detail and just watch from whatever angle you want so the 360 fly I have mounted here in the front now notice too that I have ram mounts on 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 everything and that is the way to go if you've never used ram mounts they blow away everything else on the market uh, I started using them right off the bat with when I noticed that GoPro mount sucked and the ram mount was the first thing to go after so put that in there and uh, it actually went really well so I've got them all over the bike, uh, the one inch balls, I've got them on the front of the, the fairings, I've got the bracket extensions off of my main bracket here, and then the, the uh, ramp, the uh, 360 fly mounts right where I want it. I can get the positioning exactly where I want with the brackets. They make different lengths and extensions, I have several extensions and several different mounts on uh, uh, for these. I've also got ball mounts under the rear cowls so that I could put them on. Uh, the one that I used on the rear cowl on the left side of my of, of the bike uh, is is the one that boy it just turned out to be one of the go-to views and it, it really really looks cool it's a neat different way of doing it uh, I kept all three on the bike all day uh, they did I didn't get I don't know whether it was they just ran out or I didn't push the buttons right uh, I thought I was checking throughout the day but didn't get all of the sessions but got, got uh, most of them and you'll find in the video that probably got enough I mean it got some cool stuff uh, one of the shots that I got off the back uh, shows uh, a guy who was coming up on me after the second lap of the whole day came out of the chicane and uh, uh, if I wouldn't have had a 360 mounted and been actually moving it when I was reviewing, I would have never seen that he actually went off the track in the grass and the dirt. Fortunately, he's a good rider, got right back on, uh, and then passed me on the next corner. <laughs> but, uh, um, but I wouldn't have caught that without that 360 and without the mount setup that I have on the back. This uh, setup I have on the back is really cool because it allows you to, to move and position your camera solid wherever it is that you want and and it's one that of all the ram mount stuff that i have it's the coolest bracket and and i would say one of the starting things that everybody should have to go out and, go, and get you just love that so um, we also put the uh we put one of the balls on the front of the the pit quad and, and uh, i went and did a lap around with that on and and you'll see that 360 video as well which you know we got some cool footage just of the pits it was just running around to let you see how it works and play with the 360 some when you're when you're doing it that was a 360 hd that i put that one on uh the front i'm running the the new 364 k so uh, real pleased with the setup and looking forward to getting more shots and doing more of this with these new cameras so uh, 
check back with us, keep watching, and, and we pop up there when we got a 360 fly going, so you'll see see what the neat stuff. So definitely check us out on YouTube and watch the stuff off of the website. There is a lot of stuff we put on the on the website that has more information, so make sure you're not just sticking to YouTube and not going to the website as well. And then feeding back to us, uh, you know, you can always post on, on Facebook. That's the forum that we have that lets us uh, talk to each other, so... Um, Check us out and make sure you subscribe and like us. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.